coverage of the punt by North Carolina State at the Penn State 16-yard line. The way they sent everybody, there was nobody back there to block. Got a good kick off, and now they have to go 84 yards. Here's a Buffalo all by his lonesome. Probably feels like General Custard right now. Nobody there except Red Jersey. All right, two minutes, 35 seconds left. 84 yards away from a touchdown. Steve Geis. It will be second down and ten. Bob Bassett now will bring in the call. 2.29 left in the game. Next week, Temple. Then a week off. We'll have our Penn State football special that week. And then the finale, November 26th at Pitt Stadium. Right, they're going to try to get the ball, I'm sure, to, to one of their fastest receivers. Either Cephalo or Fitzky. Cephalo. First down at the 40-yard line. Ray picked up a block there. Would have been bye-bye, baby. I a player is down. Cephalo's to the right of your screen. Coming across the middle. Underneath the safety man. Ball's well thrown. Takes it on the dead run. Trying to get to the outside, picks up a block, pulled down from behind by the linebacker. Now we're in the midst of a timeout because of a player injury. I cannot spot the number. Ray, Penn State has plenty of time. I mean, they have the speed in their receivers, and they have the guy that can get the ball in. Wide receiver Bob Bassett of Penn State is the player injured. When play resumes, he will be replaced by number 13, Kip Bernaglia. Penn State will have a first down at the Penn State 40 with two minutes. No, and Cephalo was injured. My goodness. First down, Penn State 40, two minutes, 21 seconds left. So two wide receivers go down on the same play. Bernaglia left. Fitzky to the right. Well, that play, it, there's, a, there's a boy down. There's still a boy down. That's there. right. I mean, that's adding insult to injury if you're going to run the play over my body. You know, hey. This has been an exciting football game. Fine football game, man. Yusina has completed 17 of 27, 274 yards. He has had three passes intercepted. It appears to be an injury to the right wrist or right somewhere in the right arm. That tells it all right there. Penn State, two timeouts remaining. Well, I... <laughs> Intended for Geis, it will be second and ten. That was a little throwback to Geis to try to get him up the sidelines. You know, Ray, they... I'm sure they're going to try to get that ball at Fitzky. Second down, 10 at the Penn State 40. Bernaglia left. Fitzky right. Schuler at the 50-yard line. It will be third and a half a yard for a first down. Well, they still have plenty of time, right? Here it is. Pitsky is double covered. Picks out Shula. Will curl pattern right here. Mickey tries to break away. Wants to get up field with the ball for the first down. What? There's going to be a measurement. I believe it is short. Cephalo, by the way, now has come back in to replace Bernaglia. Third down, a half a yard away from a first down. Two minutes and two seconds now remaining. Do you think they would throw on third and less than one? Well, if they do, it'll be off a rollout or a sprint out where he might keep the ball himself. 
but they still have plenty of time. I'm sure they'll try to get that first down first, and they get back to about the business of trying to get that six points. Suey at fullback. Penn State still has two timeouts left. And they can use the sideline drill if they need any more time. He wanted to hit Fitzke, but they, Fusin and Fitzke were off on their timing. Fitzke actually had his back turned when the ball was thrown. Right, there was something wrong there. Uh, Scott seemed to be doing a deep out, and uh, Chuck was looking for him on a short out. Now they have to go for the first down. It is fourth down and inches. Well. First down got and Stewie. Oh, I beg your pardon, Ed Guthrie. At the 48-yard line of North Carolina State, Penn State has a first down, one minute and 51 seconds remaining. Well, Guthrie made it. Uh, or was Stewie uh, and Eric Geis? What are they Chuck Fusina. It was Guthrie. Chuck Fusina now has come over to talk with the coaching staff. Penn State has asked for a timeout. One timeout remaining for Penn State. Fusina unofficially, 18 of 28, 284 yards. It's been the running and the ball control of North Carolina State against the passing of Chuck Fusina. Ted Brown with a remarkable performance. Unofficially, the great North Carolina State running back gained 249 yards on 37 carries. North Carolina State Talking. has been able to come from behind twice and now leads Penn State 17-14 with one minute and 51 seconds left in the game. As I said before, Penn State has two timeouts left. One timeout. Oh, one timeout, sorry. What sort of a passing offense do you expect to see now? Well, I think they'll go to a lot to that double wing set that they use so well. And again, try to hit either Cephalo or Fitzke coming across underneath the safety. over the middle incomplete second and ten right that was a you had both Fitzky and Seth well both coming across the middle and they almost bumped into each other I think actually Seth well brought his man into the into the area that's not in the ball can be completed Bob Torrey now brings in a play Matsui comes to the sidelines second and ten at the North Carolina State 48 Fitzky left Cephalo left Cephalo at the first down. First down at the North Carolina State 37 yard line. So well, that time, Fusina went to a quick release. This time, Cephalo, the inside receiver, just does a two move turn in here. He drills the ball in there. He's trying to try to break it to his outside here. He wants to get out of bounds, but they don't let him. 137 left to play now. Fusina wanted to do there, apparently. We just stopped the clock. Right, right. He rolled out to the short side of the field. He had no room to go there. So I, evidently, he wanted to stop the clock. So now, with a second and 10 at the North Carolina State 37, one minute and 32 seconds left in the game. Ray, this is, this is going to go right down to the wire. Fitzky left. Cephalo right. Shuba's open. Suey all the way to the North Carolina State 21-yard line for a first down with 126 left to play in the game. Penn State's lining up on the ball quickly, Ray. Schuler. Gets out of bounds. The ball will be spotted at the 19-yard line. A gain of two. 
But, Ray, he, he got what he wanted to get done. He got the ball stuck. But the, no, no, the clock is running. They ruled the ball dead inbounds. And Penn State has asked for a timeout, and Joe Paterno is incensed at that ball. Now, Penn State has no timeouts remaining. It will be second and eight at the North Carolina State 19-yard line. Well, at this stage of the game, sure you like your timeouts. All you got to do is roll out, get that ball out of bounds, and stop the clock. Well, Joe, what Joe is at, uh, arguing about here, one official was overruled. You seen it talking with Joe Paterno. It will be second so we can get things here in the right perspective. North Carolina State leading 17-14. Penn State second and eight. North Carolina State 19-yard line. This drive started all the way back around the Penn State 15-yard line. Penn State has no timeouts remaining. Well, Ray, somebody just asked me, you know, a field goal will tie. There is no way Joe Paterno will go for a field goal. You don't think so? If it came down to fourth down? Maybe then? Well, I don't think so. No. All right. Whatever. It's been a truly exciting afternoon of football, and we hope you've enjoyed our Penn State football show to this point. But who knows what is yet to come? Well, 19 yards is not that far to go. It'd be interesting to see if North Carolina State stays in this prevent defense. Defense will come with a little bit. Put the pressure on it. Here they come. Here come the linebackers. He's open. He's at the 11-yard line. If it is a first down, it will stop the clock. But we might have to have a measurement with one minute and two seconds left. Now, if we have a measurement, that automatically stops the clock. I think they might go to Shula here. And they put those two receivers. Oh, here we go. First down at the 11. Touchdown! Scott Fitzky is being overwhelmed. Hey, this is absolutely fantastic job by Pusina. Fantastic boy. They were in a double wing. They put Fitzky to the sideline. Watch here. Short side of the field. Yusino's going to sprint out. Put the pressure on the corner. Fitzky goes into the corner. Does a flag right here. Touchdown. Beautifully executed. Yusino now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wing dang. Listen to this now. 22 of 36. 319 yards. did the holding in place of the injured Bob Bassett. Hey, but, you know, what I like to see, North Carolina State, it's not over yet the way they're playing. Play a fantastic football game today. In many ways, deserve to win. But for Penn State to come back like this, you know, late in the game, two minutes and, I think, ten seconds they had the ball over here in their own 30 to take it in all the way with Jacina completing pass after pass, you said it before. I don't think I've seen many better exhibitions of throwing a football. And young Bo Ryan, hands on hips, the head coach of North Carolina State, only his second year. But I'll tell you something. He has a beautifully coached, well-prepared football team. Beautifully done, John. Beautifully done. My hat is off to him today. Even though I don't wear one. Stringer is back at his own two-yard line. Ralph Stringer. He is deep for North Carolina State. 58 seconds left in the game. Not over by a long shot. Stringer at the six. Fumble. Penn State. No. North Carolina 
Carolina State will have the ball at the North Carolina State 29-yard line with 52 seconds remaining. North Carolina State has two timeouts remaining. Let's see how they can use the clock, right? And Ted Brown, who had left the game limping, is in the game. Number 15. Macmillan got to the quarterback. Tim Gillespie recovered it for North Carolina State. North Carolina State now asks for a timeout, and Matt Millen has made a succession of outstanding plays today. This one comes with 39 seconds left and forces a loss of 13 yards. Well, Ray, he's one of those wild Irishmen that rises to the occasion, and he really has done a job. Now North Carolina State has one timeout remaining. That drive by Penn State will have to go down as one of their very best under pressure in all their proud football history. One of the very best I've ever seen. I mean, you know, everything was going against him. He had to pick out the right receiver at the right time to keep moving the ball upfield as he did, using the clock. His timeouts were gone with about... And oh. one great play in that drive, I think, George, was the call by the coaching staff. The draw play right. to Suey. Excellent. Big play. All right, here we go. Second down, 23. North Carolina State at the North Carolina State 18-yard line. Marker down. A penalty flag is down. There's a flag on the play. Let's see what we have. Holding. Penn State. Now, if so, this will give an automatic first down to North Carolina State. Well, Ray, I'd like to know if we have it, who they're holding, because all the receivers had released upfield for North Carolina State. Joe Paterno is saying, hey, that's five yards, not 15. But a 15-yard penalty has been measured off. It is now, no, it was not an automatic first down. It is second down and eight. Second and they eight. Have to throw the ball. Have to... Is it? Incomplete pass. It is either an incomplete pass or Penn State's football. Lynn Dawson almost made a miraculous catch, but he didn't. It is third and eight. Okay, Dawson goes up for it. Peter Kuski strips him here. Now, this I thought we were going to re get a replay of Syracuse, and they were going to give the ball to North Carolina State. It was a great defensive play. Dawson got hurt. He really got racked up that time. It is going to be third down and eight at the North Carolina State 32-yard line with 25 seconds remaining. You know, Ray, someday I'm going to do a game that Joe isn't coaching. My mother's not you know, praying for it. It'll be a lot easier for me. <laughs> For Penn State, there'll be a substitution. Larry Kubin will go in, a defensive lineman, in place of Bill Banks. They were two, dumb interceptions. There was either two or three interceptions, depending on uh, what the technicality right. was. But at any rate, I just feel he had an absolutely brilliant Please, afternoon. Sir. He didn't force the ball. They were deflected balls. And he played with tremendous poise in the drive that put Penn State into its uh, current lead of 21-17. Penn State's in a prevent defense. Third and eight. There's that draw play to... All right, that's... The it. Brown is within about a yard and a half of a first down where Sidler and Kubin made the tackle. It apparently is going to be fourth down, one and a half, North Carolina State seconds left in the game. Fourth 
down, one and a half. North Carolina State at its own 38-yard line. 18 seconds left, no timeouts remaining. Johnny Evans. Intercepted by Matt Millen. What a game for Matt Millen. With 11 seconds remaining, Penn State intercepts the football. Well, Ray, Joe said, before I say they're exceptionally good, I want to see them come from behind late in the game. Now, you can't cut it any closer than that, baby. And when you can add away from home against a quality opponent, then you've said it all. I think North Carolina State was better prepared today than any team Penn State faced. Fusina just falls on the football, and that will be the final play. And Penn State comes away with a hard-earned victory over a truly well-prepared, well-coached football team. The game ends with the score, Penn State 21, North Carolina State 17. We'll be back with the Dodge player of the game and our scoreboard show right after this. There was no further scoring, and the game ended with the score. Penn State 21, North Carolina State 17. We'll be back with the Dodge player of the game and our scoreboard show right after this. Three-hour game. Hey, Mr. Producer, thanks for producing a three-hour game. Appreciated that. You sure we have to do any of this? All right, how are you? One, two, three. Say when. And now to the field, and the Dean of Health, Physical Education, and Recreation at Penn State University, Dr. Robert Scano. Bob with our Dodge player of the game. Joe, a heck of a ball game. Well, it really was. It was a kind of a ball game I think we need I think a young team's got to be able to do something in the clutch. Uh, I think if we hadn't been able to pull it out, we might have had some problems. But I think when you get you get a bunch of kids who are, who are struggling, we move the ball well. And North Carolina State did just a fantastic job with their offense. They did a, so many things and did them so well that we really were, they just did a fantastic job against our defense. And it was a great football game and a, a ga game that I was, was enough glory for both sides. Joe, there were so many key plays today. Can you single anyone out? The last, the last catch <laughs> by Fitzky for the touchdown. <laughs> the, last, the last touchdown was a key play the in last, a game like this. Yeah, it was just a great football game by both teams. I think it's as well played and as good a football game as you're going to see. Joe, what about next week, Temple? Well, Temple has always given us problems. As you know, last two games we've gone down where we had to run a punt back in the last two minutes to beat them two years ago. And last year they go for two, and if they make it, they beat us. So I would imagine the Temple game will be a, will be a typical Scoring, tough football game for us. Thank you very much, Joe. Okay. Thank you. Okay, about a minute. Our Dodge player of the day, Chuck Fusina. A great job. As you know, Chuck, each, each week, the Dodge dealers present a $1,000 scholarship in the name of one of the players, and it's building a fund which will support non-athletes uh, in future years at Penn State. These uh, uh, plaques, of course, you've been here before. Congratulations to you on behalf of the Suburban Dodge of uh, Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. Thank you very much. Um, you know, today was a great win for Penn State, and uh, to win this award on a great day like this is really satisfying, and um, it's just great that, you know, the game like this, and we could give $1,000 to a non-scholarship non athlete. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Hello? Talk. Hello? Hello. No, it's say something intelligent so they can do a colorway um, shot. We won the game 21-17, okay? And it was a real game. It was a real game. It really was. Really was yeah. a real game. <laughs> it just went on and on. Just went on and on. And I hope they're getting what they want. And I hope they're getting up there. He's getting at up there. Because we feel rather silly. Yeah, I'm just standing here. <laughs> Brown. By the way, hey Ted, if you see Susan out there, tell her I want to see her. 